Hey, what's up, you guys? DJ Mama here, and we're here to cover Force of the Breaker and Tactical Evolution. So let's get into these two sets. So I thought Tactical Evolution was something other different. I thought we got like a little sniff of the Gladiator piece in the Tactical Evolution set, but no, it's not. Sadly, these sets can't stand on their own, so they're getting combined, so it's a better time for everybody. So let's get into it. So we have the start of two new archetypes, Volcanics and Crystal Beasts. While Volcanic Rocket is a very good card, uh, Crystal Beast only has a few good monsters. <laughs> so let's get into them. So Ruby Carpool, one of those monsters, obviously if it's special summon, which in special summon, it special summons a whole bunch of Crystal Beast monsters from your spell and trap zones. Uh, and uh, they all, you know, if they're destroyed in the monster zone, they can pay some face up in the spell and trap zone as continuous spells. If only Ruby Carbuncle didn't miss timing somehow. Next up, uh, Topaz Tiger is decent. Uh, Emerald Tortoise saw some play in Tier Limit, which is going to be a long time from uh, good old 2007. Uh, Amber Mammoth was something in the anime. And then the best monster they still have to this day, Sapphire Pegasus. Uh, when this card's summoned, place a Crystal Beast monster from your hand, a deck, or a graveyard in your space up spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. Still their best monster, by far. Uh, maybe Zenith. Uh, next up, Volcanics, uh, Do Shell, and Sc Scattershot are very good cards. Uh, Doomfire is... The Rain Train's better. Uh, Slicer, Hammerer, and Blaster are cards. Next up, we have the Field Spell Searchers, the level 4s that discard themselves and search a certain uh, field spell. So we have Captain Gold, so adding Skyscraper, Command, adding Necro Valley, a Legendary uh, Warrior Prince, adding a Legendary Ocean, or Umi. Uh, Destroy Source adding Jurassic World, and then uh, Zeradius adding Sanctuary in the Sky. Archfiend General adding Pandemonium, and Harpy Queen adding uh, Hunting Ground. Pretty nice, right? And then we have the Sky Scourges seeing some play in like older formats like 2010 and before. Weird tech monsters. Uh, uh, adding a light uh, summoning, you know, he pays a thousand to send all cards on the field and implode players' hands to the graveyard, and then I draw one, which is very, very good for Norlaris. And Rise can remove and play one face on monster in the field and can attack, but it's only 24, so it's fine. And Invisil, which can be, can't be tribute summon, or cannot be special summon. If you tribute summon, you have to tribute one of the calling monsters or a light fairy or a dark card to negate spell and traps, which is not terrible. Uh, next up, Ryza, Big Mayana, the set. This is, uh, one of the best monarchs, period. That's all I have to say about it. It's real good. Uh, next up, some crystal cards. Uh, Blaze Accelerator is here, as is Tri Blaze Accelerator. That's super. Uh, Fuel Barrier is not too bad for all the Fuel Barrier searchers. More alien support. Uh, the traps look, uh, like trap cards. <laughs> um... Imports. Promethean uh, King of Shadows is not too bad, but it's a secret rare, so very hard to pull. Plague Wolf is certainly a card that has been talked about. And of course, Eradicator Epidemic Virus are, is a nasty, nasty card. Somehow it's still alive today, even though printed all the way back in 2007. Next up, Tactical Evolution. We'll try to speed this one up. So this is Geminis and Aliens. So yeah. Uh, Hunter Dragon, good for those Cyber Dark cards. Rainbow Dragon, they got their boss monster in this set, so a complete uh, crystal package if you can pull it. The Crystalluses are here. Necrogardner is pretty good, but Nama Naga is janky at its finest. Um, Neos Alias is one of the best cards to be released, and for the next few years will be a very good staple in hero decks. Uh, more Gemini stuff. Uh, I think Lucky Pied Piper is okay. Uh, crystal Seer? Nice card. Uh, this one adds Neo Space Pathfinder. Uh, Ritual Raven's funny. Zombie Master, very good, but there still needs to be better zombies in the format. Uh, new Hero Fusions. Ojama Knight, another instant fusion target. It's just a light. Uh, next. <laughs> yeah, this thought was not what his thought was, but uh, Double Summit and Summoner's Art has Summoner's Art has seen a lot of decent uh, play in Klee later on. Uh, other than that, uh, uh, common charity, some fun card. Gift card is a, is uh, something I'm planning on building around today if I pull a lot of it. And uh, these weird imports, ill blood and blazing butterfly are actually the good Gemini monsters up here. It tributes itself and 
targets a Gemini in my grave, and then special summons it, and it becomes an effect monster and gains its effect, and then ill blood special summons a zombie from hand or graveyard when it's a Gemini summoned. This card leaves the field, destroy all zombie monsters, and special summoned by its effect. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, so let's go over the polls, shall we? Starting with Fuzzle Breaker, we got all our, our crystal guys. Uh, we got all the common crystal guys, anyway. Uh, we got a bunch of Blaze Accelerators. Uh, Wildfires. We only have one shell, though, sadly. One Commandant and no Harpy Queen. It's a rough time, and indeed. We did get uh, Enrise and two Norla Race, as with a Pegasus and a Rare Value, which is not bad for Crystal Beast, but it's definitely not enough. Uh, next up to Tactical Evolution, uh, Ojama Knights. Um, we got gift cards. We got our play set of gift cards. Two here, two here. Love that. Rise of Snake Deity is, ver is, Deity is very funny. Um, we got a Venomanon and a Zombie Master and a Blazing Butterfly. So uh, not not terrible. But let's show you what I'm playing today. So what we're playing today is a good old Nurse Burn. Uh, I like to thank this one, give this one out to Carnitas who played this in Edison. This isn't really Edison version, uh, but it is something. Also, this Mirror Force is not here. It's, a, it's supposed to be a Dimension Wall. So obviously we have three Nef Refecule. We have uh, Ascending Dog Marin for extra burn damage. Mystic Tomato to float into Nef Refecule. Then we have some burn cards. Poison the Old Man. Raid of Mercy becomes a uh, dealing a thousand, pretty much. As is Upstart, which is deal a thousand. Draw a card under Samoji and Refecule. Cease Fire is not too bad. Double Compose and Compulse. And then we have three gift card, aka take 3,000 damage. And then we have Just Desserts, Magic Cylinders, uh, Dimension Wall, <laughs> uh, two Reckless Greed, two uh, Eye of Truth, that's all I felt like running, two Paths of Destiny, Threatening Roar, and a Torrential Tribute running out. And next up the side is teched out to beat Jinzo and Royal Decree specifically. So we have monsters to deal with Jinzo with Exiled, uh, DD Warrior Lady and two Rota, and then we have Sangan and two Snipe Hunter to deal with the uh, troublesome back row. <laughs> Next up, Brain Con, just to take the guy and I guess hit with it. Uh, <laughs> Giant Trunade to deal with the more back row. Premature Burial, which could be fun even though we don't have a lot of monsters. And then Call, Ring, and Waboku rounding out. Uh, the extra deck does not mean a thing because we cannot really even go into it. So let's get on to Nurse Burn for this week. So our first victim today, Power Fable. Oh, we're gonna turn off the, nah, we'll leave him on, it's fine. Uh, let's see, did I win the die roll? Am I going first? Let's see who goes first, I do. Let's see what we draw here. Just Desert, Ceasefire, Samochi, Eye of Truth. Uh, good draws, oh, it's all trap cards. <laughs> Whoops, all traps. So I have truth. We're gonna set. We're gonna set Samochi, and we're gonna set Reckless. We're not gonna do anything. Hope they he's not gonna kill us. But our opponent is playing Crystal Beast. We we'll go Amber Mammoth, Carbuncle, Lightning Vortex, Call the Hunted, Crystal Promise, and Emerald Tortoise. Could have played safe, but no, he's going for Amber Mammoth and pass, and hitting us for 14. Set one, the Call the Hunted, and pass. So draw a standby gift card. I think this is enough, right? So we have Samochi, Reckless, I have Truth for a thousand, three thousand. What could be a decent amount? What could be a decent amount in the cylinder? No, nah, it's not bad. So let's go go with it. So we go reckless. Pads and tomato is pretty good. We go some mochi set few. Uh, I don't set the just desserts or the ceasefire because there's not enough monsters on board. I go eye of truth, and then do I summon tomato? I'll set tomato. Oh, eye of truth. I suppose I'm. I know what his uh, hand is, but I accidentally show him my hand. I thought it was like both players keep their hands revealed. Oops. So, accidental hand knowledge. Ooh, a Ryza. So, I'll take a thousand because I have a spell during the standby phase, and then they reveal Ryza. And here he comes down. Battle phase. I'm not letting 24 hit. Go. Let's go Magic Cylinder. Go Call. Summon back the Amber Mammoth. Amber Mammoth for 17. Go Gift Card for 3. And then Pads, which is 2,000. Nurse Burn. Oh, Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat, Royal Decree, Crystal Abundance, and Cobalt Eagle. Those are cards. Goes to draw. Goes for Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat, summon out two uh, Amethyst Cat. Which is some at least something. Level 3 or lower beasts. Their effects aren't negated, so they will both blow up in the end phase, which is 
a choice. Okay, so we open Samochi, Samochi, Rota, Rota, gift card, and a tomato. I'm just gonna go run out tomato. We'll just his see if, how much we hit him with that. Goes royal decree and end phase. I'm like, oh no, that's not good. So I just have to deal with it. He goes Pegasus, Pegasus, summon out Carbuncle, Carbuncle. It's gonna sit there. I'm gonna go tomato into Snipe Hunter. Okay, we'll go Snipe. I'm gonna take out one of these Samochis. Target Royal Decree. Gets a three, we hit. We're gonna go to Samochi, Upstart Goblin to draw again. Mmm, Tomato's not bad. I'm gonna go Rota here. I'm gonna get DD Warrior Lady. Sadly, I don't deal with uh, the buy. So we gotta go take 300. And then we'll banish. We'll go 15 direct with Snipe Hunter. He already took it. Main two, I just have to pass, sadly. So we have 3,000 left to do. Cobalt Eagle to take 100. I'm gonna go gift card for 1,000. He goes Crystal Abundance. Uh, he summons all these monsters, sends four Crystal Beast cards, spell and trap zones, send as many as possible, then he special summons uh, how many were sent to my graveyard. Not bad. Uh, we still have it technically, so we go Tomato, Tomato Crash to Refecule, right? Summon Dark Lord Refecule, Refecule Effect, hit uh, Cat for two, then we're gonna set as Conspicuous card, could be anything. And then we're gonna flip up gift card, and that's gonna do it! We did it! <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, oh my god, he had Rainbow Dragon. Did he have seven? That was something by having, what, seven Crystal Beast cards? Uh, I can't read. Having seven Crystal on field or in graveyard. Does he have seven? No, he had uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the DD Warrior Lady mattered. All right, on to the next one. More Nurse Fern. Yay. We, oh, we didn't win the die roll. <laughs> We're on the other side. <laughs> Oopsie. So he's playing, looks, looks like Macro Monarch. Goes main one, set DD Warrior Lady, set Book of Moon Pass, and then we have Lefricule, Diff Card, Pads, Eye of Truth, Ceasefire, which looks like pretty much everything. Gonna set everything. You know, we're gonna set three. The Survivor, I'm just gonna wait it out for a little bit. I'm gonna take 18, it's fine. See if I can assemble more lethal. Ooh, double Eye of Truth, Pass, Ceasefire seems like the play. Go Samochi, go Gift Card for three. I'm gonna set paths. Oh, I'm setting everything. We'll go Eye of Truth as well. Oh, he's chaining DD Crow to my gift card. I didn't know what he was doing. I was like, why is my gift card in bandage? But he reveals to me his hand. He's gonna chain DD Crow. And he doesn't have a spell. I'm just gonna run out Refecule and pass. I don't wanna hit the set. He's going to go for Macrocosmos, which kinda doesn't matter. Standby phase, Eye of Truth. And uh, he drew the spell, so he takes a thousand. Goes DD Survivor. We're gonna go Ceasefire for 15, and then. Paths for two. So paths, paths for 2,000. He lands on tails anyway. I'll roll mine. Those D, yeah, I think I, that's, a, that's enough. Even though he has four, there's nothing really he can do from this situation. I have another thing. All right, next, uh, Extermination Sangan MST Reaper. As I open Reckless, uh, Refecule, Eye of Truth, Dust Desserts, and Gift Card. Let's see how this goes. Oh, also opening D5, that's crazy. So he sets MST Sangan, not bad. I open Roar, Reckless, I'm gonna set two. Doesn't space one in the end phase, it's kinda crazy. Uh, Reaper, Sangan, I'm like, oh, I'll go Roar, end of main. He goes cross out, I'll go Reckless. Sadly forcing out my Reckless very early. But this seems pretty all right, I don't draw. Go Refecule, Refecule hurt for 11. Main two, he doesn't know that. Accidentally sent to the graveyard. Oops, my B. Uh, set the poison, the just desserts, the ceasefire, the gift card, and the eye of truth. Because MST at the end phase hits the just desserts. Not too bad. Draw phase. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go eye of truth, and see where he goes from here. Standby. He takes a thousand main. He's gonna drop heavy storm because I know he has it. We'll go gift card. Goes ceasefire and poison. So this does three plus 15 plus eight. 
which is barely enough. And then this will all go because of Heavy Storm. Tributes for Cyber Dragon. Goes Sangan effect. Gets Dice Jar. Uh, puts Reaper to defense. Hits DeFi. And goes to battle. I'll take a decent amount. 73. Good lord. Uh, I need another burn spell right about now. Oh, right. I'm still under Reckless. Love that. I'll take 21. Next turn, I finally draw. Gonna set a card. Could be anything. I draw Torrential. Sure. Karma Cut is a card. Um, it goes five. I'll go Torrential on his summon, but priority is priority. I draw a little four, so I'll take uh, 25. Sets one, I get a Reckless Greed, which is not terrible. Lightning Vortex. Does Cats pay two because he, so, he doesn't want to do four. Magic Cylinder right. is not bad. We go Reckless for... Refugual Cylinder, set a few, pass. He draws DD Survivor. Oh no, DD Survivor hit, and then you know what happens. Cylinder. <laughs> and we won. He can't activate Prem, but he could activate Karma Cut, but it was double magic cylinder. Yep. Gift card, Snipe Hunter, Jinzo to deal with my guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this has been Tactical Evolution and Forces Breaker. Next set is going to be Gladiator's Assault. Can't wait for that one. See you guys next time. Bye.